Things got real on the range today, guys. Uh, we took a ricochet uh, off a steel target that was hanging up. Uh, we're on our way to the hospital. So, real life first aid. We got a tourniquet on. Uh, quick, quickly got to it. This is uh, we're three minutes into this ordeal. Tourniquet on, Israeli bandage wrapped. Uh, looks like we're not spurting blood or anything. The tourniquet might not actually even be uh, necessary, but we are using it. That's real blood from a real bullet. Should we call the hospital and know we're on the way? We're definitely dealing with the cops here in a bit. Keep you guys updated on what's going on. Uh, we're gonna we're heading to the hospital. Doing good, guys. Uh, the shock is wearing off. We're a couple minutes in. Halfway to the hospital. No saturation on the bandage. Obeying most traffic laws. Uh, released. A little bit of pressure on the tourniquet. Uh, my man's foot was hurting. So, uh, no increased blood flow in the bandage. So, we let off the tourniquet a little bit and watched it. And let it off a little more. And I think we're good. He should make it. If he doesn't make it, I call dibs on his gun. Fucking quick texting in front of us. You know where we're going? I don't even know where we're going. Yeah, Brad just missed it. It's fine. No, that's not it. That's fine. I think they switched it. I got your dirty ass blood on me, bro. Are you clean or what? I mean, clean enough. I mean, bro, it's the 90s. <laughs> Told you, Brad. <laughs> you good, you good, you good. We're good, don't worry. Oh, look at the quarantine tents. Is that, oh God. Is that that is? Hey, enjoy your COVID-19 test. Yeah, they're gonna about grab to. my... They're gonna thing. disappear me, bro. You got my wallet, Brad? I got it, right here. Dude, carry him in, Brad. Oh, unarmed. Okay. You good? Yeah. Where is it your mask on, bro? <laughs> the buyer. All right, guys. Uh, we are we are at the hospital. Just dropped our boy off with a bullet wound to his lower leg. He's good. He walked in on his own accord, as you saw. Um, should be fine. Doesn't look like it hit bone. Looks like it was to the side of the calf or in the side of the calf. Uh, we're waiting to see. His wife is with him. They're in the hospital dealing with the COVID, COVID masks and stuff, so we don't get to go in and watch everything happen. Uh, lessons, lessons learned, guys. IFAX on the range. He had a he he had his IFAC on him while training. Uh, tourniquet was placed on his leg within three seconds. So got him to the truck. Uh, took his pant leg off so we could see the wound. Wrapped it with an Israeli bandage. Got him wrapped and then headed to the hospital. So. Right, IFAC, very important. If you don't have your IFACs, get an IFAC. I'll put a link in the description below. Build your own IFAC, put stuff in it, uh, figure out how to do it. I actually had a video on IFACs. You can go check that out as well. What happened? Uh, we had a steel plate on the range that was being used uh, for handguns earlier and he decided to shoot an AR-15 into it and it put a Ricky right back into his leg. Uh, happens, happens when you shoot steel, so. Um, you know, these kinds of things, you know, people die every day in boot camp. So these things happen. So we're going to hang out for a little bit, see, uh, see what is, see how mad his wife is at us. And then, uh, still some sunlight left. So we'll probably go and get some more training in since he ruined our day. Um, uh, but he should be good guys. Every, everything should pan out well. We actually, I think we have to go back and deal with the sheriff's department now. Um, they wanted to talk to me, hopefully. I can pawn him off onto Brad. We'll see. What? There it is, guys. IFAX, tourniquets, Israeli bandage, for sure. Uh, we got lucky that he didn't get hit in an artery, uh, from what we can tell. 
There was no spurting of blood. Um, it didn't look like he got hit in the bone, but I mean, it's right there by the kneecap and the shin bone. So things could have been a lot worse with um, a bullet ricochet that close, uh, bouncing an AR-15 bullet um, back into his leg. So um, the equipment we had on us was enough to get the job done. My shit, is that him? Guys, we'll keep you updated. Uh, if he dies or makes it, we'll let you know in the next video. Uh, he should be good. Uh, but that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys got any questions, put them below. If you've got any comments uh, for our guy in there with the bullet wound in his leg, go ahead and stick those in the comments below. I'll read every single one to him. Uh, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and share the video. We'll catch you on the next one. Did you need his mag or? Because that's all in the way. No, I think they just want the rifle. Okay. Yeah, I brought the mag too. Oh, you did? Yep. You wanna? Do you wanna come over while I take it out? Uh, I guess I can. <laughs> I didn't want you to get nervous. So. Oh, I know. Oh, I don't get. I typically don't get nervous. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Good thing he's not shooting his blackout. Or shooting earlier. He was shooting with a pistol from way back there and he hit it. Gotcha. So it's Brad's fault? Are you YouTubing me? on <laughs> me. Possibly. See, these two were from 9mm that I shot at earlier. And then that had to have been his shit. Dang. Dang. That was him. These were my nine SMJs. I'm just guessing he just had 55 grain. Yeah. So this is ricochet? Yeah. <laughs> That's wow. crazy that that came back and went in. You think that energy would be gone? Shut up, you're fucking up my video. Oh. <laughs> Goes back to you there. Thank you. Citations for your speed. 11 over is a $90 fine. Course down in Lewiston, Nez Perce County. Gave you until October 16 to reply. The instructions on the back, if you want to pay the citation, you can do it in person, by mail, or online. Otherwise, just follow the instructions above. If you have any questions, just give the uh, court a call at the phone number there. Any questions for me? Can you smell Fruit Loops right now? So it's, so it's I actually I'm all oh, suggested. Okay. I can't smell much of anything. So 90 bucks for 11 over. So it's actually cheaper for me to stick to the 30 over. I think 30 over is 155. Yeah, I mean, so but miles, 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 miles per. <laughs> oh, for hour. dollar five. Dollar per mile. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I probably. Get, I get more for my money the faster I go, right? <laughs> Uh, until you get to a certain point, then it becomes a misdemeanor. Uh, so what is that? Inattentive point? or reckless. The court sets that fine. So <laughs> it's up to the officer. But uh, yeah, I would recommend not pushing that envelope. But appreciate you guys wearing seatbelts. Have a safe trip. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Yeah. Sure.